Hey fellow autograph enthusiasts, how are things? Um, thank you very much for coming back for this, the, what are we now, September edition of Celebrity Signings, uh, where basically I'm showing you all the autographs I've received through the month of September, so let's crack straight on and show you what I've got. Uh, first autographs I got in September, first autograph I got was this uh, picture you can see here, which is a signed picture of Sir Cliff Richard, who's probably best known, um, I guess, as a singer. Um, I think most people in the UK and probably beyond know who Cliff Richard is. Um, Funny enough, not really someone I've considered writing to before, um, and obviously he's in, been embroiled in a little bit of um, sort of slightly odd things going on over the last year or two, uh, for which he's now been exonerated as far as I know. Um, but um, I, I kind of came, became conscious recently that the fact that he's actually getting on a fair bit now, and while he is signing at the moment, I don't know how much longer he may continue signing for Fans 4, so I thought I'd send him a picture uh, to get signed to add to the collection. Um, so I sent him this one, which is sort of from his early years, I guess, when he was singing. Um, and uh, sent this off to him. He has a fan club address, which you can easily find online. Uh, sent this one to him, and he signed it and returned it fairly quickly. And as you can see, I, it looks really nice. Actually, signed it in this gold pen. Hi, Carl. Uh, sorry, to Carl. Hi, Cliff Richard. So, uh, yeah, really pleased with that. Took about a month, I think it was, to come back. So, very happy with that. Um, and on the same day, I also received a via venue return from Anna Gunn, who is probably, I would imagine, best known for playing Skylar White, the wife of Walter White in the series Breaking Bad. Um, she has been, I don't think she is anymore, but she has been appearing via venue in the UK in a play. Uh, so I sent this picture of Skylar and Walt to her and got this return, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan anyway. Um, so I now have something signed by Anna Gunn, who plays Skylar, and I have a couple of items signed by Brian Cranston, who plays uh, Walt White, obviously, in Breaking Bad. Um, really looking forward to El Camino that's due out very, very shortly. Um, may even be out by the time you watch this. So, yeah, really, really pleased, um, and very good couple of returns for the start of September. Uh, next autographs I got were two from Michelle Ryan. Um, I've met Michelle before at a Comic-Con, but never, I got a picture with her, but never got anything signed. So I've written to her via venue, uh, sorry, through the mail and got my two pictures back signed. Took about a month. Uh, this one, probably the one I wanted most, is her as Lady Christina in, um, doc in sort of the David Tennant's Doctor Who series. Um... I, sort of, I think by some kind of semi-regarded as a companion, I guess. I mean, her character certainly wanted to be one, but never became one. She she was pretty much his main companion in this one episode. But I think in the canon of Doctor Who, she doesn't technically count as a, as a companion. Um, and I also sent this one, which you, you can't really see here, because she signed black on black. My own fault, I probably should have sent a slightly clearer picture, but she looks hot in this one. Um, so, uh, so yeah, but she has signed it. It looks really nice on the actual picture. But, um, but this one I particularly like. It's a really cool picture, and really pleased to get this signed. Probably won't send it to get dual signed by David, to be perfectly honest. Um, too much of a risk, so probably won't. Uh, next autograph I got was my first one from Simon Pegg. Um, now, I know Simon doesn't sign anything you send him TTM, but he does send back pre-signed cards. Um, so I wrote to him, didn't bother sending a picture, um, just to get the pre-signed card back, which you can see here. Um, I'm 100% certain that the two Carl at the top is secretarial. Don't believe for a second that that's signed by him. Um, but the Simon Pegg at the bottom is nice and, as far as I can tell, is genuine. So that's my first and most likely, unless for some miracle I happen to meet him in, per in person at some point, uh, my first and only Simon Pegg. Um, I think this was pretty quick turnaround. I think it may have taken... Uh, a month or two, but no more than that. So that was really cool. Uh, next autograph I got, um, my third one actually, but I realised I hadn't actually emailed uh, Judy Dench's agency for quite some time. And as most of you probably know, Judy Dench will respond via email via the Julian Belfage um, agency. Uh, so I thought perhaps they may have some new pictures of her, because the ones that they I sent previously of her as um, uh, M in. Uh, um, James Bond, so I wanted to see if they were any new versions, so I emailed them, and it isn't, it's the same one I've already got, uh, but I got this one back for Carl Judy Dench, I'm not going to complain, another Judy Dench in the collection is always uh, very much appreciated, so I'm happy with that, um, and as I say, if you do a quick search online, and you don't have Judy Dench in your collection, I definitely recommend dropping an email, because she's brilliant with fans, so yeah, that's really cool. Uh, next autograph I got, you'll have seen in the last couple of videos, I've already had a reply from this lady, but I wrote to her again, because the last picture I sent, she actually signed the back of the picture, which is lovely of her, but I really wanted the front of the picture signed. Uh, and it's from Sue Jones Davis, who's probably best known um, for playing Judith in the film Monty Python's The Life of Brian. Um, so I did this sort of custom 
picture where I sort of cropped an image of her with the Monty Python team in a scene from Monty Python's Life of Brian and left a white blank bit at the bottom and asked if she could sign that for me, which she has. She's put, Dear Carl, best wishes, Sue Jones Davis. So um, I've now got three Sue Jones Davis items signed in my collection. That'll be it. I won't write to the lady again. I don't want to bother her too much. Um, but Sue, thank you very, very much for sending these back to me. Very, very much appreciated. Um, and a very quick turnaround on that. Uh, next are a couple of via venues from America. Um, unfortunately, I missed Charlie Cox when he was in theatre in the UK because I didn't think he'd reply, and he did. So when I saw that his show had moved to America, um, I decided to send to him then. So obviously slightly cost a bit more for postage, but eh, whatever. So I sent him two pictures. Uh, this one of his character, uh, Daredevil, from the series The Defenders. Very unlikely I'll get it signed by the rest of the lot, but you never know, Finn Jones... I think does Comic Cons. Mike um, Coulter is his name. I think it's Mike Coulter. He sometimes, occasionally does Comic Cons in the UK. Jessica Ritter, I, Jessica Ritter, I know has done one maybe, but again, it's not very likely. Um, but really like this one. And I also sent him this picture of him as Daredevil as a sort of solo image as well. And he's put Carl Charlie Cox. I don't. Did he, oh, he did did personalise the other one as well. So yeah, a couple of really nice returns. So that's Charlie um, added to my sort of Marvel collection. Uh, and if you want to see what else I've got from Marvel, all you've got to do is pop along to my blog um, or to my website. You'll you'll see the address at the start and end of this video, um, and you'll see I've categorised all of my autographs. So you'll see this is categorised as, as labelled as Marvel. If you click on that, it, you can see all the other Marvel stuff I've got. Um, the next couple of autographs, or the last few autographs, are actually books that I've purchased recently. Uh, and the first one is this. Now I, I know if you watch my videos, you'll have seen I've I've actually met. Christopher Eccleston twice in the last couple of in the last year, uh, not at Comic Cons. I've actually met him in person at the stage door, got a photo with him and a signed Doctor Who picture. Um, but I purchased his book, um, which has come out recently called "I Love the Bones of You." I haven't read it yet, but I certainly will. Uh, looks like it's going to be an interesting read. Um, and you were able to purchase a signed copy of his book. His signature's it's fucking awful, to be fair. It's absolutely shocking. But there we go. It is what it is. I mean, if you compare it to most of his other signatures, this is pretty much identical. He doesn't tend to do a long full name anymore, which I guess when you're called Christopher Eccleston, that's probably fair enough. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's got a sticker on signed by the author, uh, and there's a signature inside. So pleased with that. And um, yeah, my first sort of Christopher Eccleston signed book to add to my, my ever-growing signed book collection. And certainly over the next month or two, there'll be a couple of really cool ones I'm hoping to add uh, that I've pre-ordered. So keep an eye out for those. <clears throat> uh, the next book I got was actually from a charity shop. Uh, I'll, I'll state right away, I don't really have an interest in politics per se. Of course, I vote. Of course, I, uh, I'm interested in what happens politically in, in this country and beyond. Um, but I'm certainly no Tory supporter. Um, I have no interest in the Tory party whatsoever, but let's not get political in this uh, video. Um, but we happened to pop into a charity shop recently and found for a pound this copy of John Prescott's book, Preza, My Story, Pulling No Punches. Um, I don't really know much about John Prescott. I mean, I obviously know he was the former Prime Min uh, Deputy Prime Minister of the UK, but that's about it. I've got no interest in him, but open the book up to have a quick look, and there inside it was signed, Best Wishes, John Prescott. So for a quid... Had to pick it up. Why wouldn't you? Of course you would. Um, it won't stay anywhere prominent in my book collection, but it's a quid. So there you go. Uh, and lastly is another signed book that actually I've had for years, but for some reason just forgot to add to this blog. And I just happened to, to find it the other day um, and realised I hadn't added it. So I thought I'd pop it in now. And it's the last um, update for, the, for September. And it's a book called Shrouded by Darkness. Um, and it's a sort of a collection of <clears throat> short horror stories, excuse me, short horror stories by a number of horror writers. And there's a signature from each of the horror writers inside the book. It's about 20 signatures. But the two main ones that I really got the book for, and it was so cheap, it was like 12 quid or something, uh, was this. So it's limited edition, first of all. There's only 200 copies, and I've got number 19 of 200. And as you can see, it's signed by Clive Barker, who's probably best known for the series Hellraiser, um, for writing the series Hellraiser, uh, and also Neil Gaiman, who, of course, is, uh, is a huge sort of fantasy writer as well. Um, so, yeah, so not only is it limited edition, uh, it is signed by these two and around, us, say, 18 other um, horror writers who are probably less known, which is why I haven't included them in here. So yeah, that's really nice. And that wraps up September. That's it. Short and sweet, I guess. Will it be just under 10 minutes or we will just be over by the time I've finished? Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's it for September. Keep an eye out for the October video. I'm probably or almost certainly going to do a sort of standalone video that'll be out midway through October. So keep an eye out for that as well. Thank you for coming back and watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe, all the youtube -y stuff that people always say that you should do as a viewer. Um, and I'll see you again very, very shortly. But thanks for coming back and have a fantastic October. Cheers. Bye-bye.